Meaning your word is moot, but mine is uh, amazing. Um, testimony meaning he has a strong conviction in his heart that it's all true, which is not empirically testable evidence in the slightest, and it is a very common phenomenon held over years over all belief systems surprise but people um who are mormon and they get up and they say i know in my heart that the church is true have as much of a conviction as people who are muslim who say i know in my heart that this is true or people who um are catholic who are say i know in my heart that this is true right and i will remember to put a com a, a link to um a website that addresses this more in in the description. Okay. And Alma goes on to say, I know you have the same testimony. I know you do. Uh, do you believe it? Uh, behold, he says, behold, I know that thou believest. Oh my gosh. But thou art possessed with a lying spirit, and ye have put off the spirit of God, that it may have no place in you, but the devil has power over you. And he doth carry you about working devices that he may destroy the children of God. And this is a really easy way to immediately dismiss every one of Korhor's claims without actually addressing them. Right? Okay. Well, what I find mildly ironic about this statement, too, is that um, Joseph Smith, he made a prophecy about a financial investment, and... Um, some of his, I don't think they were apostles yet, I think they were just people working with him in the church. They, they went to go, um, to go through with his financial investment, and it flopped. And they asked Joseph about it, and they were like, you said that the revelation came from God, you said that if we did this, God would, God would pull through with, for us, and that's not what happened. And Joseph was like, oh, well, you know, some revelations come from God, some come from the devil, and some come from just you, and you don't always really know until it happens. Which I find ironic concerning Korhor, because he's like, well, the devil is revealing this stuff to you, when Joseph's saying the devil revealed stuff to me, Joseph Smith. Okay, so Korhor replies, show me a sign, show me evidence, show me proof that I may be convinced that there is a God. Show me that he has power, and then I'll be convinced. Right? Okay, that sounds reasonable to me before, because believing in God, and believing that there is a God, and believing that you ought to follow a specific religious practice, which is very much what they're wanting him to do. They don't just want him to believe in God, they also want him to do what they want him to do, and, um, Follow what they say, follow the prophet, follow the prophet. Sorry, it's a primary son. And, um, and he's saying, okay, be happy to, but you're making this claim that God exists, and I would just like some evidence before I hand over my entire eternity to you. Yeah? Okay. So Alma says, Alma, this really pisses Alma off. And he says, Thou hast had signs enough. Will you tempt your God? Will you say, show unto me a sign? When you have a testimony, again, Alma, of all these thy brethren, and also all the holy prophets. So he says, not only do you know that this is true, but you know that the prophets are prophets. And, and he says, the scriptures are laid before thee. You've read the scriptures, Koror. Yea, in all things, all things denote there is a God. Yea, even the earth and all things that are upon the face of it, yea, and its motion, yea, and also all the plants which move in their regular form do witness that there is a supreme creator. Similar, by the way, now that this occurs to me, to Bill O'Reilly um, talking with the uh, American Atheists founder, I think that's what it is, um, he says, you know how I know there is God? Tide comes in, tides come, tide comes out. Tide comes in, tide, tide comes out. Never a miscommunication. Which really, in the words of uh, Colbert, is a fancy way of saying, uh, there, there is a God because I don't know how things work. Anyway, okay, but back to Alma. So, Alma says, how dare you ask him to prove himself to you? 
everything proves God, which is another ridiculous claim because it leaves uh, no opportunity to actually test whether or not there's a God. It's not a worthy experiment because you have to assume that there's a God, which points to the phenomenon you see around you that then proves that there's a God. So you have to assume that there's a God in order to prove that there's a God. Does that make sense? Okay, and yet, Alma continues, do you go about leading away the hearts of this people, testifying unto them that there's no God? And yet will you deny against all of these witnesses? And he, and Korhor said, yes, I'll deny, except you show me a sign. And I really wish Korhor had expounded on this more. He could have explained a little better why, argu why Alma's argument was not tip-top. Instead, he was just kind of like, yeah, no, show me evidence. And didn't really address why Alma's reply uh, Alma's evidence was not evidence of a being's involvement in our reality okay and now it came to pass that Alma said unto him behold I am aggrieved because of the hardness of your hearts yeah that damn hardness of heart wanting evidence and all before signing your life over to something wow and Alma says yea that ye will still resist the spirit of the truth that thy soul may be destroyed but behold, it is better that thy soul should be lost than that thou shouldst be, shouldst be the means of bringing many souls down to destruction. So he says, well, you know, better your soul be lost than a bunch of souls be lost, which also shows up when um, an earlier character in the Book of Mormon kills off a government leader because it is better that one man die than uh, a nation dwindle in unbelief, which is interesting because the city of the government, Jerusalem, actually, was um, prophesied by that the the guy's father to be destroyed anyway. So whether um, the leader of the government was going to be killed by him or be killed by Babylon in just a little bit, it doesn't really matter. Um, but he says, "You want proof? Here." Alma says, "You want proof? Here." God will ruin your life by making you mute because you won't blindly accept that he's there and that we're right, and then you won't ruin people with your skepticism. Um, he says, and, sorry, I kind of skipped ahead. He says, uh, so he says, better that your soul should be lost than a bunch of souls be lost by thy lying and by thy flattering words. Therefore, if thou shalt deny again, behold, God shall smite thee, that thou shalt become dumb, mute, right? He couldn't speak. That thou shalt never open thy mouth any more, that thou shalt not deceive this people any more. So, again, but he says, uh, you want proof? Here, God will ruin your life by making you mute. <laughs> proof. Because you won't blindly accept that he's there and that we're right and, that you won't, and then you won't ruin your, pe your people's lives with skepticism. Okay. Now, Korahor said unto him, well, okay, I don't deny the existence of a god, but I don't believe that there is a god. And he says, and I say also that you do not know that there is a god, and, and except you show me a sign, I will not believe. Okay, now maybe this is just personal bias here, but it, it seems to me like Korahor is saying, you don't know that there's a god, because you don't have good enough proof. You believe that there's a God, but this is not proof enough to say that you know that there is a God, because no usually means knowledge, usually means, uh, right, okay, we're sure, we're sure that there's a God. You don't, you're not sure that there's a God just because you feel it in your heart. Yeah, right here. <laughs> okay, so Korahor says, uh, now I'm a, um, Corey says, sorry, it's been 25 minutes. I'm, I'm getting to the end of it, and my mouth is kind of dry, and you know. So Korahor says, look, I'm not saying there's no God as much as I'm saying there's no proof for him. So in order to convince me, you'll have to show me good evidence for this specific being's involvement in our reality. Now Alma said unto him, this will I give unto thee for a sign that thou shalt be struck dumb according to my words. And I say that in the name of God, ye shall be struck dumb, that ye shall, ha uh, that ye shall no more have utterance. So, you, you, you know what? Alma, who happened to be at the top of his debate team, when Korahor is like, 
Okay, look, I'll believe in God. I'm happy.